I think Tactile Turn is one of the kings of EDC. Hey everyone, I'm Dave with Beast Made Reviews, of course, a channel dedicated to reviewing quality at different price points. Now, if you follow my channel at all, you've probably noticed a couple of videos that have mentioned Tactile Turn. And that's for good reason. I really like them. And recently, they reached out to me asking me if I could do a review of their entire line, both of their pens and their knives. Of course, I said yes. <laughs> so today we're gonna be talking about Tactile Turn. This is not a sponsored video. These are my own opinions, but I've already had high opinions about the company anyway. Way. I was one of the OG followers of Tactile Turn. As far as I know, Tactile Turn started their pin making on Kickstarter and they had a few different successful Kickstarter runs. The one that I followed at the time were their click pins called the Mover and the Shaker, which were two different sizes respectively. I eventually parted ways with that pin, but I have still been a big fan of their company and of course, I really love their pins. So today we're gonna be talking about their whole line of products, all their pins, and of course their new knives that they started making. And before we get started, don't forget to click <laughs> that subscribe button. I crack myself up. <laughs> I think you will really love yourself for doing that. If you like content like this on quality, on EDC, on anything you can think of, I think you'll like that. All right, let's go ahead and get straight to it. Now, Tactile Turn started in 2012 by founder Will Hodges. Will Hodges really believed that people should enjoy things that are high quality. He started making everything by hand on a lathe, and since then he has expanded his business and they have really state-of-the-art equipment, but everything is still handcrafted here in the United States in Dallas, Texas. He started with pens and he came out with a few different lines of pens, different models, different materials. And then recently, a couple of years ago, he started making knives with his company, Tactile Knife Company. And I remember at the time being blown away seeing that they were making knives. And I remember the waiting list on those knives was forever long. They were backlogged for a long time. So we're gonna be talking about those two today as well. Now the first pen that we're gonna be talking about is the side click pen. And this one is in the mini size and this one is in titanium. They come in four different materials, titanium, copper, bronze, and zirconium. Another thing to mention is that they also come out with limited edition pens as well. They'll offer seasonal releases that are special one-offs with a certain theme, whether it be a car theme or a golf theme, and that will be for a specific pen in a specific size, and they also come in three different sizes, standard, short, and mini. This mini pen is an incredible EDC pen. It's Probably the perfect size for a small pen. It's not too small, it's just small enough. Now I have kind of larger hands, so sometimes very small pens give me a hard time. But this one fits just right. And the weight on this is also fantastic. This is less than an ounce. This one has a side click mechanism. To actuate it, you push down on the click at the top, and to release, you push on the side click. This gives me this fidget type of joy that I just love. It's so satisfying to deploy and then click back. It's great. This one comes with a Pilot G2 Mini refill. The writing experience is just what you would imagine with a Pilot G2 pen. Very smooth, no wiggle in the tip. And of course, all throughout the sides, there are the micro grooves that is kind of their signature from Tactile Turn. The clip here is their milled clip. It has a nice stone wash on the outside of the clip. For the price on the titanium, copper, and bronze in any size is $99 for the pen. And the zirconium pen in any size is $249. They also have a couple of these pens in their slim models. The pen as a whole is absolutely flawless. Now, obviously, these are not inexpensive pens. These are premium pens. They're built extremely well. Once you hold one in your hand, you see exactly why this is what it is. Is. These are made in the USA. They come with a lifetime warranty. When they get into your hand, they're already dialed. Side click pen, absolutely fantastic pen. Definitely check that one out. All right, next is their bolt action pen. Now this one is in the short size. It's also made of titanium. The weight on this is 1.2 ounces. It's just a little bit larger than the mini and doesn't really sacrifice anything to be that. So it's a great medium ground. Now, of course, the main attraction here is the bolt mechanism itself. On the outside, it still has all the same micro grooves on the outside. This is another one that is super fun to play with. And the springiness on the mechanism is really authoritative. Whenever you click it, it just shoots out of there, rockets out of there, and just has a really solid, satisfying thump to it. And of course, this pen writes great. The ink refill on this is a Schmidt Easy Flow 9000. It's another one of my favorite refills, but they can also take different refills. You might have to cut 
down the refill to make it fit, but you can fit a lot of different style refills. Now I don't have a standard size pen to show for this one, but they do carry this in standard size and it comes with a Pilot G2 size refill. Again, one of my favorites. Now this one has a kind of standard spring clip on the outside and I actually prefer this style of clip a lot more than the milled style of clip. And as you can see, this one is a little bit different because there is an engraving on the outside. You can add an engraving for $10 if you want. And I also got a titanium Damascus bolt, which that's an additional upcharge of $20 if you want that. I think it really added a lot of class to this one. And I actually gave this to my son and he loves this pen. Seeing him use it actually gives me great joy. So I'm really happy to pass this along to him. But personal story aside, this is just a great pen. I love this pen. I love the bolt action mechanism. I like the simpler clip that fits better in your pocket, I think. If you like bolt action pens, this is easily one of the best. So definitely check this one out. And next is their mechanical pencil. So yeah, here is the pencil from them. And this one is in bronze. Now I don't have many pens or pencils for that matter in bronze, but I do like it a lot because it patinas over time. It's a little bit heavier than other style of metals. This bronze is 1.5 ounces, which is still not heavy by any means. It just has a little bit of heft to it that separates it from the plastic variety of pencils that you have out there. It's the perfect size for a pencil as well. The length on this pencil is 5.75 inches. The width is great too if you like thinner sized pens or pencils. I would love to see this in a thicker size because I think I prefer the thicker style pens and it comes in your choice of pencil lead size either 0.5 millimeter or 0.7 millimeter and when the pencil arrives in the box they have a case of pencil lead and a few different erasers and you can put the eraser on the top of course it comes with the micro grooves on the outside which feel great this one has again their milled clip on the outside and tactile turn actually graciously milled this clip with the initials for beast made reviews right there so BMR which is fantastic the mechanism for the pencil lead is on the side there. It has a thumb stud on the outside that's similar to the bolt action pen. I personally only needed one click to get the perfect amount of lead out there, which is good because the mechanism itself is a little bit strong and a little bit uncomfortable to use. On the bright side, you don't have to use the click that much. One click gives you all the lead you need and it's something I can get over as well. Now, when I was a kid in school, in elementary, middle, and high school, I was somewhat of a pencil connoisseur. <laughs> I used to love mechanical pencils and man, if someone were to give me this pencil when I was a kid in school, I would have just been elated. This is just a fantastic pencil. Overall, this is a great pencil. And I think if you're looking for a high quality pencil, this is definitely something that you need to check out. It's fantastic. All right, now let's get to the knives. The first knife that they came out with was a liner lock knife called the Rockwall. The first thing you're going to notice, of course, is the milled titanium handle scales on the outside that has that micro groove texture that Tactile Turn is known for. And then you're going to notice that it's just a great size and weight. The closed length is four inches. Overall length is seven inches. The blade length is 2.84 inches. And this blade comes in Magna Cut. Apparently Magna Cut is a newer steel that was made specifically for knife use. So it has really high toughness. It has exceptional stainless qualities and it holds an edge really well. The blade is flat ground with a drop point. It has a ceramic detent ball and ceramic ball bearings. On the outside, there is a stainless steel clip and the backspacer is also made of titanium. The locking mechanism is what they call an insert lock, which is kind of a smaller liner lock. And you can kind of see the lock up here, which is about what, 40% or so. There's a little bit of jimping on the top of the blade. It's not super aggressive, which may be a pro or a con for some people, not a con for me. And this is mostly ambidextrous. For a left-handed user, you're not going to have any problem using this or deploying the blade at all, but I don't think that you can move the clip at all. I think it's just stuck in that one location. I love this clip. I love how small and wide it is. It's perfect in the pockets. The one minor complaint that I had right out of the box was that the clip was really strong. So I just kind of bent it back a little bit and now it's perfect. From the top down on the blade, you can look at the blade positioning and it is exactly in the middle. It's perfect. I love the pivot mechanism. You can adjust it from one side. That's great. And right from the box, the deployment was not glassy smooth like some people are looking for. But as I review this now, I've gotten some more time with this and I've really gotten to kind of break it in just after a day or two of use. It's broken in quite well and now it's just rocketing out and it's a lot smoother. So I can imagine over time it will get even better. Now they didn't mention this on their website, but the weight on this is 2.6 ounces. I'm not a weight snob when it comes to EDC gear, but if it's like Lighter, I'll take it. And this is a great weight with this. It has just enough weight to feel kind of chunky, but not heavy enough to where you don't like 
putting it in your pocket. I love how thin it is, both in the thickness and in the width. I think for their first knife, Tactile Turn did a great job with the rock wall. It's just fantastic. Now this knife is $299. This is definitely not a Walmart buy, <laughs> but even though it is pricey, I do feel like that you're getting your money's worth here. This is handmade in the USA with a fantastic warranty with premium knife steel, probably the best knife steel that's out there right now with fantastic titanium milled handle scales and everything on this is just perfect. All the edges are rounded over perfectly. It's just so smooth. It is a quality knife. With that said, let me go over a couple of things that I think are negatives here with this knife. The first one is again, another minor quibble and that was with the pocket clip being a little bit too strong. I just had to bend it back. Not a big deal, I could change that. The second quibble I have is with the liner itself, the insert lock as they call it. Now the lock works great. Liner locks are usually not my thing. Most of the time the liner locks rip up my thumb. Unfortunately, this is no exception here. The liner lock on this is just painful to use. This is not something I'm gonna sit there and watch TV and flick open and shut, flick open and shut. But that brings me to my biggest complaint here with this knife and that comes to the edge grind. And I find that it was okay, but it's not as sharp as it could have been or really should have been out of the box. I don't expect it to just pop hairs when it comes out of the box, but I do expect it to cut paper fine. And I find that right out of the box, this did not really cut paper that well. Most of the spots on this edge grind are not sufficiently sharp enough. And for something that's $299 for a knife, I really honestly expect it to be sharper, but it's gotta be sufficiently sharp enough to cut paper, which I think is a fair standard for cutting here. As you can see, it had a really hard time cutting this copy paper. So hopefully they'll fix that in future iterations of the knife. Overall, I really love this knife. It's not perfect for me just because the edge came out not quite as nice as I was hoping it to be, but keep your eye on this rock wall because it's a fantastic knife. And the second knife they came out with, which is their current uh, new release, is the Bear. I believe that's how you pronounce it. It's based on a city in Texas. It's a confusing pronunciation. <laughs> And this knife is a slip joint knife. So the one that I'm showing you here is the Ultem Bear. And Ultem is a material on the outside there that is that yellow material. Kind of looks like plastic, but is a lot stronger than regular acrylic. But for now, just know that this is a limited release for the Bear. The Bear normally comes with titanium, just like the rock wall. Now this is a slip joint knife, and it shares some of the design aesthetic choices that older style slip joint knives have. The blade is a clip point style blade with a flat grind there. Again, the blade steel on this is Magna Cut. Again, has two little parallel nail necks, which I love. I think that's so cool. This one has a half stop that's pretty flush and the half stop is kind of a safety mechanism. So if you were to accidentally bump the knife, it wouldn't close on your fingers. It would hit that half stop and stop. Now the dimensions of this Ultim Bear are the exact same as the regular Titanium Bear, which is a closed length of 3.84 inches, a blade length of 2.84 inches, a blade thickness of 0.065 inches, an overall thickness of 0.28 inches. But the weight of this Ultim Bear is just one ounce. Again, my only complaint about this is that this one is not as sharp as it could be for a $200 knife. This one also comes with a lanyard and you can choose to add a lanyard bead if you like for an additional cost. This one again has the micro grooves on the outside of the handles here. It's so super thin. I've seen a picture of this where it actually fit into a pack of Wrigley gum. <laughs> as a slip joint knife, it's absolutely perfect. It's really lightweight. It just slides in your pocket, disappears, and the blade is incredibly thin that gives it a great great potential for slicing. As a knife, this is exactly what I'm looking for. I love slip joint knives. I don't need something to be tactical. I just need something to cut. And I like the kind of old school aesthetics that slip joints have. I love how this bear pays attention to those old world style slip joint aesthetics but modernizes everything. The dimensions, the thickness, the weight, everything is perfect on this. This knife comes in at $199. You are getting your money's worth with this knife. It's fantastic. Overall though, I'm just really impressed by everything Tactile Turn has made here. Their pens are top notch. Their knives are also exceptional. I think they're making some knives out there that are just on par with some of the best quality knives out there. I really do. I do think they could improve on sharpness for their blades, but other than that, I don't think I really have much of a complaint about these knives, and I have almost no complaints about their pens. Overall, I think Tactile Turn is one of those companies that is redefining EDC and is just one of the kings of EDC. They are just at the top right now. So that is all I have. I really love this line. Everything about the quality and the craftsmanship of their pens and their knives is fantastic, second to none. And that's one reason why I think that Tactile Turn 
is making some of the best EDC stuff out there right now. Now, I do have some quibbles and some criticisms here and there, but still, I really love their products, and I am so excited about what they have. I'm even more excited about what the future holds for this company, and I cannot wait to see what new products are coming out in the future. I highly recommend to anyone, if you're looking for a ballpoint pen or a really high quality EDC knife, then definitely check out all the offerings from Tactile Turn. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on your way out. I love you for it. I'll see you next time. I'm Dave with Beast Mate Reviews.